This is a video of microincision cataract surgery with Indian trifocal intraocular lens implantation in a 64 year old male patient with a soft cataract, nucleus sclerosis grade 1 to 2. We begin with a 2.2 temporal clear corneal tunnel incision followed by intracameral injection of phenocane which dilates the pupil and gives anesthesia. Preoperatively, corneal topography and spectral domain OCT is always performed before implanting trifocal intraocular lenses. After deepening the anterior chamber with viscoelastic, an anterior continuous curvilinear capsulorexis is performed using a bent 26 gauge cystitome. You can appreciate the distinct red glow because of the stereocoaxial illumination of the microscope. After making the side port entry, cortical cleaving hydro dissection is done using the Rycroft's cannula. The anterior capsular edge is tented to achieve a good nuclear solute as you can see. This makes it easier to chop the soft cataract. Once the nuclear pole is lifted up, a ball tip phaco chopper is used to engage it and the nucleus is impaled with the phaco tip. As you can see, the nucleus is gently nudged. It is then cracked in two halves and rotated for the disassembly into smaller fragments. Since the cataract is soft, care should be taken not to use excessive phaco power. The preferred technique here is that of small nuclear fragmentation and emulsification. This is easier to perform and prevents any inadvertent contact with the posterior capsule. After complete removal of the nucleus, what you can see is the thick epinuclear sheet and this has come because of the complete hydro -deline delineation that we have performed earlier. This is engaged in the epinucleus mode of the phaco machine and is emulsified with low phaco power. The subincisional epinucleus is also being cleared up now. The coaxial irrigation aspiration bent cannula is now used to remove the residual cortical matter. Capsular polishing is then done to ensure complete removal of all the cortical fibers. The peripheral iris is tented up to look for any cortex as the pupil size is quite small here. Now the capsular bag is inflated with viscoelastic. A hydrophobic acrylic trifocal intraocular lens is then loaded in a butterfly type cartridge under the operating microscope after thorough examination. This cartridge can comfortably pass through a 1.8 mm corneal tunnel and this one is 2.2 mm and it allows easy access for cartridge entry as well as the intraocular lens implantation. The intraocular lens is placed in the bag and centered around the first Purkinje image of the microscope lights. As you can see there are three of these lights the upper larger circle is a halogen light and the lower two smaller circles are from the stereocoaxial LED lights. The viscoelastic is removed from behind the intraocular lens to prevent capsular distension on the first postoperative day. This is a very important step. It, uh, we must ensure complete removal of any remaining viscoelastic. The main incision and side port are hydrated to complete the surgery. 
This is the first post-op day with an unaided visual acuity of 66 parts and N6. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe for more surgical videos. Thank you.